Today, we're gonna to show you how to set up the Stealthcam Revolver 360 cellular camera, which we've got right here. And what's unique about this camera is that it's got these motion detectors up here at the top. And when motion is detected, the camera actually rotates inside the camera body and it will then take a picture wherever motion is detected. So it's got a 360 degree detection range and then it rotates the camera to take a picture wherever that motion is detected in the 360 degree arc. And it is a cellular camera, which means it will then send those pictures to an app on your phone so you can see what is happening. That makes this great for monitoring remote properties where you don't have any Wi-Fi service and it will just connect via a cellular network automatically and then send those photos to your phone. I've had good luck with the stealth cams in the past monitoring a remote property. So let's show you how to get this set up. The first thing that you're gonna to need to do is download the command app, which is the app that this works on and will send pictures to. You're gonna to need to create a username and password and then log in. So if you haven't done that already, download the Stealth Cam Command Pro app, create a username and password, or if you've already got it, log in. Once you've done that, we're ready to start setting up the Revolver 360 cellular camera. Now this does take 16 AA batteries. So if you don't have those now, make sure that you get 16 AA batteries in order to power this thing. And then we're gonna power this up. We're gonna log into the app and get this Stealth Cam Revolver 360 set up. You will also need an SD card in order to get this set up. So I've got that right here. Now that we've got our batteries and an SD card, we're ready to get this set up. And it should be noted that you could set this up with an external power supply. That's what this is for right here, 12 volt power supply, but we're not gonna do that. You've got this little latch here, you just pull forward on that, and then this opens up and it's going to reveal both the SD compartment and the battery compartment. So we're going to take our SD card and we're going to slide it in and you can see it actually shows on the diagram which way this should go. So you have that cut edge or the uh, triangular edge there and you put it in that way. So those little stripes are facing upwards. And now we're going to take our battery compartments and we're going to load them up. You can see it does take 16. Each battery compartment is eight batteries. So we'll put a couple in here. Uh, just real quick to show you that and then we'll fast forward through here once we get all the batteries in because 16 batteries is a lot of batteries. You can see uh, they just go alternating sides there. So we're going to fill those up. We've got our battery compartments full and you can see there's an arrow here on the top and you've got these two little contacts on the top. Those are going to face upwards. So make sure you've got the arrow pointing in and these contacts on the top. And then we're gonna slide uh, both of our battery compartments in. Both of them will work in uh, either location. So you can just put them in and you're gonna press, there's a little click there and now you've got it inserted. Now that we've got our SD card inserted and we've got our battery packs inserted, we're ready to turn the camera on. Now, what you wanna see here is you've got three lights. They all need to turn green in order for this to be operational. The first light is for your battery or SD card. You wanna make sure that's green. It's gonna make sure that you've got a full battery and that your SD card will work with the camera. The next one is your signal. You need to have a strong signal from either Verizon and or AT&T for this to work. So that light is currently on right now. And then the third one is the connection to the network. Once all three of those lights turn on green, then we are ready to get this set up. So we've got three green lights and sometimes when you turn this on for the first time, the camera will actually rotate in there just so that the housing is showing that it is correctly working. There you go, you can see the camera is rotating there. It's just going through a setup and startup sequence. And now that we've got green lights all the way across, that means that we can log into the Stealth Cam Command Pro app, which we've got over here. So create your username and password and log in if you haven't done so already, or use that already existing username and password and log in. We're gonna do that now. Now, this is the home screen for the Stealth Cam Command Pro app. We've got a couple other cameras on there, but if you don't have those other cameras, this will show up blank. 
Now what we're going to do in the upper right hand corner, there's a plus symbol. We're going to click on that and that's going to allow us to add a new camera. Now on the Revolver 360, we've got a QR code back behind here. And what we're going to do is scan that QR code or you can manually enter it. And then that's going to set up the camera on the Stealth Cam app. Once we scan the QR code, this is the next screen that pops up. It says prepare your device for activation, insert the batteries, insert the SD card and power on the camera. We've done all those things and we've left the power on. So now we're going to click next. It says the SD card will need to be formatted. So you want to make sure you use a clean and empty SD card. We're going to click next. Power on the device. The three LEDs will flash to indicate the camera is successfully connecting. Wait for the three LEDs to turn off. Your camera is now ready. So I'm just going to cycle this off and then cycle it back on so that it goes through the process of connecting to the cellular network. We've got our battery and SD card and then it's going to go through the whole connection process. It says camera registered. Click next to complete the following steps. Format the SD card, set the location, and choose a cell plan. We're going to click next. Now you can edit the location where you're going to have this set up using a GPS map. We're just going to click next for this. And then it allows you to edit the direction where the camera is. We're going to click confirm. And it says revolver, unlimited, $15 per month. Let's see what other plans there are. Click on choose a different plan. You can have 1200 photos or 600 photos for $5 a month. We're going to do the $5 a month option to start and click next. Now we're going to click next. We've confirmed $5 a month. Here it will ask you to enter your payment details if you don't already have them. You can just use a credit card for this transaction. Click confirm. Now our revolver cam is successfully connected. It is this camera up here at the top and it will populate as this top option right here. Now, if it doesn't populate, all you need to do is cycle it on and off and then press the sync button and that should take a picture. Now, when you click on this, what's really interesting is that this takes the 360 degree picture. So you can see my feet right there. I just put this outside the office and then it gives you all 360 degrees of this photo in different segments. So you've got six different segments. So 360 divided by six, that is the viewing angle for each picture, but they're seamlessly connected. So you can scroll right through them and then it shows Northwest, North, Northeast, East, South, East, and South based on that location that we set up in the app. So now this thing is ready to go and you could save this and or share this. Now, if you go back here, you can manage your camera as well as your settings here. So if I go back one more, if I wanna manage the settings of this particular camera, I would click here on settings. Now here in the camera settings, it shows you a couple of different things here. It shows you when this was last synced. The software version, you wanna update that if it's not the most recent. You can choose your upload frequency or upload time. You've got the PIR 360 photo mode, but you could change that to a 180 photo or just a PIR photo or video or time lapse here and work with whatever you want. But note that when it takes a 360 photo, it's actually taking six photos and stitching them together. So that will use up more of your allocation. If you've got 500 or a thousand photos, you can choose your resolution and then your active zone. So if there's a zone you want to exclude because maybe it's up against a wall or a fence or something like that, you could do that. And then you can have the delay, which is the motion sensor delay, five seconds. And then we can choose our motion sensor sensitivity. So we've got it on high right now, but you could change that to a low or medium, actually just low there. Uh, sensitivity, if you're getting too many false notifications, you can change the uh, blur. So you've got reduced blur or advanced. Let's uh, put that in advanced and click save. 
that sounds like a good option to have. You've got an on-demand mode here uh, for the camera as well. And then you've got a DVR mode that you can toggle down in the settings. So if I want to toggle either one of those, I would just slide across right there and I could look at on-demand or DVR mode, as well as you've got your information bar and you can reformat the card if needed shows you your time zone, and then you've got a 12 or 24 hour format. You could turn this on and off during certain operating hours if you only wanted it to work at night or only during the day, and then you can edit the camera location. Now, if you click more here, you can add this to a group, and then you can have shared access with this camera if you want to. So thanks for watching this video of how to set up your Revolver 360 cellular camera. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click any of the links below if you want to support us. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.